This video will demonstrate how to build your own software keyable pure sine wave code practice oscillator. We're using Zamgate and the sine wave generator. These are two LV2 plugins that are free in Linux. And these are the basically the two that do the job. Now we're actually keying this software CPO, the software CW keyer, so to speak, with another side tone from a 555 going to the mic check. So I have a CW keyer and a straight key that's keying this 555. The output of the 555 goes to the mic check and then into this computer system here. Now the 555 sounds pretty harsh. I'll let you hear what that sounds like. So by itself it doesn't make the greatest code practice oscillator. You see lots of harmonics and kind of raspy. So instead of trying to do something with it by itself and filter it, filter all the harmonics out, all we do is use it to key a pure sine wave oscillator. And Zamgate is the uh, secret weapon of this. It allows you to set the rise and fall time, which I have it set at 4 milliseconds, approximately. And this threshold setting determines how wide or narrow the CW element is. So this helps you to control the weight so you can adjust it to your preference so that you can get lighter or heavier keying or keep it the same as the uh, original CW keyer that you were using has it. So you can just dial this in by ear. So let me show you what this sounds like. I'll send some dits and then make it wider. So they're almost running together there. And you can see that the red wave is the pure sine wave that we're creating with Zamgate and this sine wave generator. And the green wave is the original 555 tone. So the several milliseconds extra length to each element so it sounds a little bit heavy. So then we dial this back and I'll make it lighter. So that's a little bit light and you can see that it trimmed off a little bit of it. So we had it about 14. Now you can also micro adjust this by hitting the control key and using your wheel or just slide the mouse a bit. So control, then I'm going to use a mouse uh, wheel and it takes it up by 0.1 increments, which is a very, very useful feature when you're really trying to get this weight just right, especially at higher speeds. So Zamgate is just an extremely useful for this function and creating this Morse code oscillator. And the pure sine wave generator is a, a pretty standard with most of the uh, Linux operation systems. So it may already be a, a easily in your system already, or it's easily downloaded using your package manager. And just look for LV2 plugins or you know sets of them. So the basic flow again is the 555 comes into the mic jack goes to channel 2 of the gate. Over here the gate is already waiting with a sine wave that's already active. But nothing's coming through until this 555 tone kicks into that channel 2 and opens it up. So as soon as it starts, as soon as it finishes, that's how, how much time the sine wave gets to go through. And Zamgate in the meantime, during this flow, will set the rise and fall time as you see here. Let me uh, increase this to about 10. And as you can see, that's a really soft. And you can also trim it down, take it down to 1 here. So make it harder or softer keying. So you can decide how much. You can also vary. So it doesn't have to be the same. You just uh, determine that yourself according to how you like it to sound. And I think that's the, the basic setup here. This makes for a pretty straightforward way to take 
an otherwise unusable side tone by itself and to create a near perfect one using this pure sine wave generator and zamgate thanks for watching